Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to have a look how to bring old Pokemon from previous generations into Generation 6 Pokemon games. Um, in case you're not familiar with the different generations of Pokemon games, uh, here's a quick overview. Generation 1 covers red, blue, and yellow. Gen 2 is gold, silver, and crystal. Those are all Game Boy or Game Boy Color games, and we're not able to transfer them to Generation 3 games or higher. The oldest Pokemon you can bring to the newest games are from Generation 3. Gen 3 games are for the Game Boy Advance and consist of Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, as well as remakes of Red and Blue, which are called Fire Red and Leaf Green. After that comes Gen 4, which are DS games. Um, they are Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Generation 5 games are Black and White and Black and White 2, which are also for the DS. Generation 6 games are X and Y on the 3DS. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are also going to be Generation 6 games, but those aren't out at the time of this video. Let's see what we need in order to bring Pokemon from Gen 3 games into X and Y. You can't skip generations, so you'll have to bring Pokemon from Gen 3 to Gen 4, Gen 4 to Gen 5, and then from Gen 5 to Gen 6. We need at least two handhelds for this. You'll need either an original ugly DS, or the much more aesthetically pleasing DS Lite. Those have the Game Boy Advance slot we need. DSi's and DSi XL's won't work for this. And of course, you'll also need a 3DS for the Gen 6 games. Also, before we start migrating the Pokemon over from game to game, keep in mind that items won't be transferring over. Okay, let's start with Gen 3 to Gen 4. First, let us organize the Gen 3 Pokemon into one box for convenience sake. You can't transfer Pokemon with HMs, so go to the Move Deleter if that's the case. Once that's done, save the game, put it into your DS's GBA slot, put your Gen 4 game into the same DS and start it up. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you'll find Pell Park and Fuxia City. For Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, you will need to have seen all the Sinnoh Pokémon before Pal Park becomes available to you. For those games, Pal Park is located at the east end of Route 221. In the first menu, you have to select Migrate From. Now select the Pokémon you want to migrate. You have to select 6 at a time. If you have less, catch a few more and migrate those as well. Now load your save game and go to Pal Park. Just go all over the place and throw your Pokeballs at any of the Pokemon you find. Make sure to go through every patch of grass and through the water as well. Sometimes it can be difficult to find all of your Pokemon, but you just have to make sure that you actually went everywhere, and eventually you'll find them. If you have Soul Silver or Heart Gold uh, and you want to migrate more Pokemon, just save, turn off the game, and redo the procedure. In Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, you have to wait at least 24 hours until you can migrate your next batch of six. Okay, now that we have our Gen 3 Pokémon in our Gen 4 games, uh, we're now going to transfer those Pokémon from Gen 4 to Gen 5. Since both generations are DS games, you can use any combination of DS or 3DS consoles you want. Put your Gen 4 game in one handheld and put the Gen 5 game into the other. In your Gen 5 game, you'll find the Poke Transfer building on Route 15. To gain access, you will have to get the National Pokedex first.
Just follow the instructions provided by the scientists inside, and you'll soon be prompted to go to the Download Play application on your other handheld with the Gen 4 game in it. Choose the Pokemon you want to transfer, and again, it has to be six at a time. Now you'll have to play this mini-game, where you have to try and catch all the Pokemon. Only the Pokemon caught in the mini-game will transfer over. If you're having trouble catching them before the time limit is up, just hit the purple cloud that shows up halfway through. Hit it to make all the Pokémon go to sleep, then catch them. Okay, now it's time to bring your Gen 5 Pokémon into X and Y, or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire if you're living in the future. First we need to download Pokémon Bank. Open up the program and get the additional Poké Transporter application. You need Pokémon Bank in order to use Pokémon Transporter. Start up black or white, or black or white 2, and throw all the Pokémon you want to transfer into box 1. Open Poké Transporter and go ahead and transfer them to your bank. Now put in your Gen 6 game, go open bank, and you'll see that your Pokémon are in the transport box. The transport box is just one left from the box that shows up when you start the program. Just bring them into your game and you're done. Thank you very much for watching, I hope it was helpful, and I will see you next time.